seems almost every school district is moving toward virtual learning to start the school year. But for some, getting online isn't that easy. That's right. Now, the problem here is either there is no internet or a bad connection at home. Today, the nonprofit Connected Nation will release new maps showing which areas of Texas are high speed deserts. And as our Candy Rodriguez found out, it has school districts trying to come up with low tech solutions. McDade ISD is a small district, just under 400 students, but over 100 of those don't have internet at home or have connectivity problems. In the cities, people assume that everybody has internet. Everybody does not have internet. Superintendent Barbara Marchbanks started seven years ago when nearly half of the students were offline. It has greatly improved. Now the nonprofit Connected Nation is working with Bastrop County. They say just having internet is not good enough. It's about the connection. I want people to know that we just we have too many Central Texans that are currently being left behind. In Travis County, almost everyone has access to broadband speeds over 100 megabits per second. But in Bastrop County, it's just 70 percent. And in other Central Texas counties, it's even worse. On places that we've had residents report to us that they've had a really hard time getting connected and that they've called every available provider and they're still not able to get a connection. We're going to go check and actually see if there's physical infrastructure there. For McDade ISD, that's not the only concern. 70% of its students come from low income homes. Parents are out of work right now. Parents are having difficulty putting food on the table and then we're asking them to see that their child has internet access. So they came up with a plan. They'll reopen schools for some students and offer low tech solutions for others. The district will also drop off packets filled with schoolwork and a flash drive with the teacher's lesson on video and give those families who need one a Wi-Fi hotspot. They may have internet, but it's not always acceptable. School for McDade ISD starts August 17th. They hope to keep the in-classroom numbers low. At this time, they only expect around 100 students to attend. Back to you. All right, Candy Rodriguez for us this morning. The FCC defines high-speed internet as 25 megabits per second, but that's far from fast, and you know that mm -hmm. if you have high-speed internet. Even smartphones these days are twice as fast as that. Yeah, 100 megabits per second is considered average these days. Right now, Connected Nation and the Bastrop County Broadband Committee are asking the community to fill out a survey. They'll use the data to develop an action plan. Those who are able to fill out the survey online, you can do that, but the committee is working to print out surveys and then they will be available at county annex offices starting next week.